Hey everyone, I'm Anthony from Pretty Printed, and in this video we're going to build a MongoDB backed RESTful API in Flask. Our API will be a way for us to get a list of web frameworks from the database and add new frameworks to the database. So let me show you what we're going to build. I have an API with pretty much just one endpoint, and that endpoint is called framework. And depending on how I call it, I get different results. So if I do a GET request on framework, I get a list of frameworks in a database, which matches up with my Mongo database right here. If I do framework slash some name like express, I'll get a single value, which is just the, the name of the framework and the language. And if I do a post request on the route with no variable, but instead I send a JSON object. So I'll say, I can't type in here. Oh, there it goes. So name, Angular, and then language, will be JavaScript. And I'll close that and I'll send this post request. I get back what I just inserted. And then if I go to Git on the same endpoint, I should now see Angular in the list. All right, so let's actually get into building this API. So the first thing I wanna show you is the Mongo database. I have four documents and my framework collection, which is just a collection of um, web frameworks and the programming language that is used for those frameworks. So for Flask, I have Python. For Laravel, I have PHP, and I have a couple of others down here. So let me show you what I have so far. I have uh, the necessary import, so I need to import the Flask object, uh, JSONify, and request from Flask. And then I need the PyMongo import from the PyMongo module. And then I have the connection to my database here. I'm initializing the database. And then, I've, of course, I have the, um, the running of the actual app. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to create the route to get all the frameworks. So I'll create a route. Call it framework. And the method on this route will simply be git. So if they do a git request on the framework endpoint, they will end up here. So I'll call this git all frameworks. And it's going to be pretty simple. The first thing I have to do is connect to the collection that I'm interested in. So I'll call it framework and framework is going to be mongo.db.framework, which is the collection I have in my database. Then I'll initialize an output list and I'll call this results because um, there's going to be a little more. No, I'll call it output. How about just output? That works. So it's an empty list right now. And what I want to do is query the framework to get all the documents in the framework. This will give me all the actual frameworks that I have along with the programming languages that they belong to. So to do this, I'll have a loop. So I'll say for Q, Q is going to be query for short. For Q in framework, dot find. This allows me to find all the documents in the framework collection. I'm going to append to output just a simple dictionary. So name is going to be q.name and then language is going to be q.language. And it's pretty easy to guess what's going to happen here. For each framework that it finds, it's going to have to add the name of the framework and the language of the framework. So after that loop, I simply want to return this. So I'll do return, justify, and I'll call the key results, and the value will be my output. So I'll save this, and I'll go into Postman and run a request to uh, get this, this endpoint. So first, let me start the server, python mongo.py. Okay, and then in Postman, I'll enter my URL which is 127.0.1. It's actually saved here. And I'll do a git request on it. So that should 
give me the results of the route that I just created. And let's see, um, I got an error. Dictionary object has no attribute name, which I can quickly figure out what the problem is. So there are names in there. Oh, this is what happens when you use too many languages in a short period of time. So that will be legal syntax in JavaScript, but I'm using Python, so I need to use the brackets. So Q brackets name and then Q brackets language. So I'll save that and I'll run it again. And I should get the results this time. Okay, so here are all the languages that I have in my database. I have four, uh, four frameworks, I mean, Flask, Laravel, Express, and Rails, along with their languages. So that's pretty easy. How about if you want to get just one framework out of it? So I'll create a second route. I'll call this app.route. It's going to be framework as well to follow along with REST principles. And then it's going to take in a variable. This variable is going to be the name. And the name will be the name of the framework. So methods will be post. I'm sorry, not post. It's going to be git. I'm getting ahead of myself. And then I'll call this git one framework. And it takes in a variable. So the parameter name will be just name. And the first thing I have to do, of course, is connect to the collection in the database. So mongo.db.framework. And then after that, I can build the output object. So I'll call this output equals Well, first I need to do the query. So let me move one line ahead. So I'm going to get the result, which will be framework dot find one where the name is equal to the name that gets passed in. And I'll call this, I'll call this Q again for query, but instead of being um, something you can loop over, it will only be one result because I'm using find one. So output will then be name. It's going to be Q name. And then language will be Q language. And then I'll do the same thing with Jasonify. I'll say results is going to be output. So I'll save this and my server should have restarted, which it did. So I'll go back to Postman and I will look for, let's say Flask. So when I run this request, I should get one result and it should only be Flask. And that's exactly what I get. So I see the name of the framework is Flask and the language is Python. If I do something else like Rails, I get Rails and the language is Ruby. And if I try picking something that's uh, not there, so another framework would be Django, I get nothing. Um, I'm going to let this error go because... Well, how about this, just to make this easy. If Q, then this. Else, I'll say output no results found. Okay, so now when I run this for Django, I get no results found. Okay, so now if I want to add a framework to my database using this RESTful API, I'll need yet another endpoint, but actually it's going to be the same endpoint as this first one. The only difference between the one I'm about to create and this one, uh, the git on framework, is the method will be post instead of git. So down here I'll do app route framework again, but methods instead of git will be post. And I'll call this add framework and it's going to take JSON values, um, well, a JSON object that has the framework information and then add that into the database. So first thing I have to do is connect to the uh, collection. So mongo.db framework. And then I want to get the information from the JSON object. So I'll have a name. So I'll say request.json name. 
and then the framework or the language of that framework will be I spell language wrong request dot json framework so with that i want to enter this into the database so i'll do framework dot insert and then i have to insert the name which is simply the name variable and the framework which is the framework or the language variable it's not framework it's language okay and this is going to return an id let me spell this correctly so let's do uh, framework id so this immediately inserts the framework into the database but i also want to return the framework that the user will insert so i'll say a uh, new framework is going to be framework dot find one and i'm looking for the id where the id is framework ID, which is the one I just got from here. So whenever you insert in MongoDB, it returns the ID that gets generated for whatever document you insert. And using this ID that I just received, I'll query the database again to get that object that I just inserted, just to verify that everything went correctly. And then the output is going to be name, new framework, name, and then language will be new framework language. And then I want to return the JSONified output. So result output. So I'll save this and I'll go back to Postman. And I'll use the framework endpoint again. And I think my server went down. So where did I make a mistake? Nope, server's fine. So get, oh, the slash shouldn't be there, so no slash. Okay, so now it's instead of doing a get, if I do a post, and then for body, I'll go to raw, and I'll select JSON from the drop down here, and I'll create a JSON object with what I want. So name, and let's do Django. And then language will be I keep spelling language wrong. Language will be Python. So if I send this as a post request on this endpoint, it should add Django to my database. So I'll send this and I got an error. So key error framework, I must have put framework somewhere where I shouldn't have. So let's see, yes, framework here should be language. So I'll save that and I'll run it again. Open Postman, send. And I spelled language wrong again, or did I? Let's see, key error language. This right here. This should be language. And let me send. Okay, cool. So now I see that I have Python and Django down here. And it probably inserted twice because it failed after the insert. So if I go to the database and refresh, I will probably see Django and Python twice. Yes, I do. So let me go back and run a Git request on this route. key error language. Why am I having such trouble spelling language? So one of these is wrong. Um, this one is spell wrong. So I'll delete this one. So this kind of highlights one of the problems that you could have with a Mongo database because there is no schema. You can run into silly little errors like this because I don't know how to spell language. So uh, this is just one thing to watch out for when you're using a Mongo database. Um, with flexibility, you have more power but with that extra power you have the ability to mess up more and it's still complaining about something so let me refresh oh this language is spelled wrong i think i deleted the wrong one so i'll delete that and i'll re-add 
the value into the database. So I'll send here. I got that. And then so language G U A G E. Okay. I'll send this and now let me run get again on everything. Okay. Now we have language here because I finally spelled it correctly. So you see uh, the five frameworks that I have, Flask, Laravel, Express, Rails, and Django, and then with their accompanying languages. That concludes this video. Please like this video and leave any questions or comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.